All right, everybody, welcome to Uprising. I'm gonna try this new earpiece out. Let's see if it works because I've been having a little trouble with it. And yeah, so today let's talk actually about, some people have been asking me actually a lot about the spiritual aspect of hydrogen and whether it does have a spiritual component. And the simple answer is yes. However, uh, it's, it's, there's a lot of information that I've actually been privy to. I've been very fortunate. One of the things that, that happened throughout my journey, my healing journey, and I could probably go into it in more detail if some of you want to know, I never expected it to be a spiritual journey. I never expected it to be something that was going to educate me in the world of understanding the human body and how to heal it. Before I go on, obviously, I'm not giving you guys any medical advice. So, But beyond that, I'll just share with you my experiences and some of the things that I learned. Because as the process went by of, I would say, purification of the body, as I went through this process, all of a sudden I started having what I would call like revelations. In fact, I started having like spiritual experiences, which I didn't expect at all. Like 0% in my mind thinking that I was going to have a spiritual experience. All I wanted was my life, my life back because I was incredibly ill and it was ruining my life. I mean, really, really ruining my life. Um, you know, not being able to walk, not being able to lift anything, even like, you know, just lifting something like this, it, it would hurt so bad. My joints were an absolute mess. And Western medicine had no, no options. All they wanted to do was, you know, feed you uh, drugs for the pain. So what ends up happening is as I cleansed the body or what I even call the temple, as I went through this process, this is why purity is so important to me, as you guys who have seen my channel about hydrogen. Hydrogen is like the purest substance known to man, guys. It's, it's incredible. And this is why I always talk about the purity of how to make it, because there's so many impure ways. In fact, just about every way out there is not a pure way of making hydrogen. So that's why I always talk about that, because it's very important. Now, as the purification of the body, or of my body, as I went through that process, all of a sudden, I start my, my mind started working in ways that I never expected it to work. I don't consider myself like the most intelligent man on planet Earth or anything like that. But I started making connections and I started thinking to myself, how, do, how does the world not know about some of these things that I was figuring out? And it wasn't necessarily rocket science. And so... You know, as far as healing the body, I noticed that there was a correlation between healing the body and spirituality, and even hydrogen was definitely involved. So were the plants, so was nature, you know, so was the food that we're eating. And I know that there's a lot of different uh, difference of opinions on what we should be eating, and I'm not going to get into that because it's just like a can of worms, you know. Everybody, it's just I don't I don't need to necessarily go down that road. Uh, the road that I will talk about is, again, the purity of the body is important. And the purity of our body correlates with the purity of our environment. So the water, the air, the food, anything that's going to be going in to this body. And so one of the strange things that ultimately did happen is I went through a special type of purification process. And I did not know at the time that it was an ancient form of cleansing the body. In fact... This is not the actual book, but um, it's just because I'm letting somebody borrow it. But it had to do with the Dead Sea Scrolls. And if anybody has ever read the Dead Sea Scrolls, and I did go and I, and I did read them, you'll notice that there, a lot of them are just Bible verses and, and books within the Bible. And then, of course, there are certain books that are no longer in the Bible that were omitted. And I don't know if you've read the history of that, but me personally, I like to look at the whole picture. What I found odd was that I ended up finding the actual cleanse that I went through in these old ancient books that were, you know, over 2,000 years old. And that is where I became very intrigued because of the experiences that it was bringing out in me. And the same thing with hydrogen. In fact, hydrogen is interesting because it's been a slow process. Um, it's almost like it's been ramping up gradually and slowly. This is why I always talk about the purity of it because you're going to be using this thing for the long term and a proper protocol. If you don't use it right, it, it unfortunately won't work. Um, you might have some minor positive effects. You'll probably have some negative side effects if you're making it incorrectly that will cause metal toxicity or other types of chemicals that will impurify the body in the temple. 
it's so crucial that it's done cleanly and I for one am actually grateful because the Japanese are really really big on purity they're really really big on cleanliness and that's one of the things that they did with the whole hydrogen thing so I'm really glad that that all worked out but the real point is I mean as cool as hydrogen is the real point is is the purity when you bring this purity not only to your flesh you know your flesh is part of it but even to your thoughts but your thoughts are kind of affected by the flesh you know if you're really stressed out you might have not very positive thoughts and then of course the purity of some call your heart you know if you really truly have good intentions I think <laughs> not to bring the same subject up again but this is where I've seen like example hydrogen products out there in the world that come from China that are really cheap and I really don't think they had the, the good intentions in their heart when they were producing these products because there's no detail they just they're, they're just using cheap metal and they're running current through it and producing some hydrogen but the purity is not there and that's what I really loved about the Japanese in fact if you look at the history of the Japanese I mean no nobody's perfect obviously but they're really into you know being honorable people and when they produce something they, they, they really truly strive for perfection but again back to the main part of the story which is the purification of the temple now that wasn't enough to heal the body um, that was only part of the process the body needs the building blocks and I, I, I correlated a lot to like a structure like a house if you don't have all the windows if you don't have all the beams if you don't have all the proper pieces then the structure won't be strong and it won't be built properly and it's the same thing goes for your body and so I had to develop a way but that's what what became so odd to me is that why have we been overcomplicating good health it's actually not that complicated I was able to build a simple system that it costs less than five thousand bucks in order to get the proper you know because you need a really good blender you're gonna need you know good food and those things do cost money I mean just like everything's really gonna cost you something you're gonna need a, a really good way of either filtering your water or a really good water distiller to really purify the water you're gonna need your proper nutrients your proper minerals and the magic ingredient I mean there's all these things that I used and they're all really really great but man that magic ingredient was hydrogen and knowing again not just how to make it but how to use it that's the one thing that I haven't seen anybody out there who knows how to use it properly I've talked to a lot of different people and nobody seems to actually know how to use it properly I ended up developing my own protocol based on accumulation of data and just premonitions but when I ended up building the protocol it all made perfect sense eventually in the world of science and the results that I've seen have just been miraculous they've been really quite amazing and so I wanted to share this part because this was part of my my story and and the story ended up hydrogen was very much a part of it but spirituality also became a very big component and it's not something that I typically talk about on my videos if you guys are more interested in that aspect you can certainly comment below um, you can certainly email me also uprising 144k at gmail and I can maybe make some videos about that information because I wouldn't say that I was like the smartest scientist in the world that could figure out all the answers in regards to health and I wouldn't say that I was you know the most knowledgeable person in ancient scriptures and manuscripts and understanding spirituality on a deep level these were not my fortes this was not my specialty and yet somehow I've developed and have had all this knowledge come to like um, a certain point where I have a lot of knowledge in those subjects now a lot more than I ever expected and I actually laugh at myself all the time because you know I don't see myself that way you know it's almost like if you become like a master mechanic and you didn't even know anything about cars and you're like how did I end up knowing so much about cars I don't know when I look back I just don't know how I ended up being able to learn all this and and the assistance that I felt that I received from the purity that I brought to this body it changed the way that I thought it changed the way that I saw the world it changed my values it changed my heart it changed so many things and all I really want is this is very important for me this is for those of you who've made it this far in the video this is one of the most important things in my life at this point is I want the best for people it goes back to ancient scriptures like the simplest things like when Jesus for example in the Bible would say things like love one another as I have loved you 
when the Bible says, you know, love your neighbor as yourself. And this is a very like common theme, for example, in Japanese culture. You know, if you've ever looked at their crime rate and the way that they treat each other, you know, they're, I've been to that country in the past and they're very kind to each other. And it's very different as compared to other countries that I've gone to. And it's a very, very important part. And this is actually a huge reason why I make these videos for you guys, because I had all this knowledge and although I don't share a lot of it because I just haven't brought those subjects up in, in my videos, I have shared the aspect that, that people don't necessarily need to argue about, which is the health aspect. Sharing with you guys what works and a lot of the knowledge that I have in regards obviously to hydrogen, which is really important if you're gonna try to use it to purify the body and to help the body heal and to just become more connected because hydrogen's at the core, guys, of not just of, of life basically and if you get connected to the core of life you end up getting connected to everything that is alive and so that includes you know the plants the animals yourself you know and so it's all very very important but for right now I'm gonna leave the video at this today and see how many of you guys really want more information in regards to this uh, support the channel give the video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and let me and I'll see if this little earpiece help because as far as I can see it keeps trying to fall out of my ear. <laughs> so, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time on the next.